The first Latino elected to Congress from Arizona says he's retiring after 23 years. U.S. Representative Ed Pastor will finish out his term, but he says it's time to seek out a new endeavor. Pastor says he received certification to become a crossing guard and looks forward to the next part of his life. This 23 years uh, in Congress uh, have brought me a lot of, lot of memories that uh, uh, I'm very proud of and very grateful for. A pastor's decision not to run for re-election is expected to set the stage for a contested Democratic primary in Arizona's 7th Congressional District. The heavily Latino district leans Democratic. Mary Ellen Resendez spoke with a number of people today and heard their take on what will likely happen with Pastor C here. Mary Ellen? Steve, Congressman Pastor held his seat for 23 years. Since then, he has become an icon of Arizona politics. I think it's really important that whoever represents Arizona um, at least understands uh, and is willing to work with the Hispanic community. We have some of the highest unemployment rates. We have some of the highest health disparity rates. The key to Arizona is making sure this district is doing well. Now, I was sitting with political analyst and researcher Mike O'Neill when the news hit that Congressman Pastor was retiring. O'Neill called Pastor's leaving an end of an era and says he doesn't see much change in Pastor's capital seat. I will guarantee you that the winner in that district will be a Democrat and will be Hispanic. I, I don't see any doubt whatsoever. But there's a lot of people who fit that profile who are looking in the mirror right now and saying, I could be the next, next congressman from Arizona. Now, already, Representative, Representative Gallego, who you just heard from, and Maricopa County Supervisor Mary Rose Wilcox have both announced that they will run for Congress to replace Congressman Ed Pastor. Yeah, it's up an interesting race there in the 7th. Thanks so much, Mary Ellen.